Hello and welcome to more Nerdy Rodent Geekery. Today I'm having a quick look at Stable Diffusion, which has just been released a matter of hours ago. This is, of course, very much like Latent Diffusion. It creates images from your text prompt. So let's scroll down and have a little look at what's going on there we have. Yes, there we go. We've got some examples of things, unicorns and astronauts playing pianos and rodent-like creatures and bears and stuff. So yes, here we go. Should we, should we get this installed? Yes. All right. Okay. So here we are. Stable Diffusion. There is, of course, a public release notice as well. I'll put these various links down in the description for you to click on and peruse. My environment is Ubuntu 2004. Feel free to use Microsoft Windows, but you will, of course, have to change some of the commands. I'm using an NVIDIA GPU with the NVIDIA drivers and CUDA toolkit installed. If you want to use an AMD GPU, that's quite possible as well, I imagine, but I don't have one, so I can't test it. And I'm also using Anaconda as well for my virtual Python environment. Now, you will need to download the code so you can git clone, and the easy way to git clone that is to just to click on that then you've got the thing pasta then you can do git clone and then paste and that that'll download it for you yeah excellent excellent okay so once you've got that all downloaded don't forget to change direction into there and then you've got a couple of options for creating your environment exactly like it says here now if you've uh, already got a latent diffusion environment up and running which you sh already should have if you've watched any of my videos and you've been following anything along then you can just do couple of extra commands to install some more things. I, of course, have changed Conda to pip, so there you can pip install Torch, Torch Vision, Torch Audio, and that gets you the very latest PyTorch. And then, of course, you'll need to install Transformers, Diffusers, Invisible Watermark, and pip install minus E dot. So yes, that's a very quick and easy way of getting an existing latent diffusion environment up and running. If you haven't got a latent diffusion environment up and running, that's fine, because you can start from scratch just by doing conda env create minus f environment dot yaml. That's pretty much what I've done here. So then you can conda activate ldm and you'll have your new environment up and running. Uh, now, the other thing I did as well on top of uh, using the conda env create, I, I, I also installed the latest PyTorch as well exactly like you would if, if you had a, a latent diffusion environment because I, I just like using the very latest PyTorch. Um, also, it has CUDA 11.6 support, so yes, yes, yes. Anyway, next you will need to download the weights exactly as it says here, Stable Diffusion, you've got all these things to download here. So if you pop over to the CompViz website, you will see various bits of information on the organization card. So there it is, welcome to CompViz. We hope public, host public weights for latent diffusion and stable diffusion models. There are several options to choose from. So please check the details below and it tells you what Stable Diffusion is there. So they recommend that you use Stable Diffusion with Diffusers library. I, of course, because I'm different, I'm using the original comp viz code. So there are the two different versions. So those are the links if you're using the Diffusers and those are the links if you're using comp viz. We're using comp viz here. So yeah, we've got these links over here. So you will, of course, need to have a Hugging Face account as well in order to download all these bits and pieces. So create your Hugging Face account. It will prompt you to do so, uh, yeah. Yeah, okay, then you'll need to log in and then go go to this page and you'll, you'll click the authorize and then, yeah, then it will let you see all the files and things, yeah? Okay, great. So we'll, we'll just go through that slowly. So yeah, you go to that Hugging Face Diffusion 1.14 original. There are four different models. I'm doing the 1.4 original. That takes you over to that page. Then you log in, click authorize, give it your contact info and all that sort of stuff. Then you click the files and version tab. So up here at the top, yeah, files and versions. Okay, you got it. Then you got this checkpoint. So you click on the checkpoint. And then you can click the download button. Yeah, okay. Now I downloaded it into, I'd already made the models, LDM Stable Diffusion version 1.0 directory there so I just downloaded it straight into there obviously you can download it wherever you fancy okay so we've, you've got the model downloaded I already made this directory make the minus p models LDM stable diffusion version 1 and then you will need to link that to models LDM stable diffusion version 1 model dot checkpoint or if you're a Windows user you could just rename it to model dot checkpoint you can do symbolic links in Windows as well but I honestly can't remember how to do them so yeah, that's the thing. You probably just rename it in Windows, but yeah, Linux and, and all us, us normal people can do symbolic links. Yeah, excellent. So there you go. You've got the code downloaded. You've got the weights downloaded. That, that means you can start running it. You can start running it. Okay, so let's do an example command. Yeah, all right, let's pop that in. So here I'm using the text prompt of an incredible digital art of a very 
nerdy rodent. I'm using PLMS, and I'm using Seed666. Yeah, okay, so this will take a few seconds to run, so I will come back in a few seconds. Alrighty, there we go, so that has rendered. Let's close that down, and then in the output section, you've got the text to image samples, you've got a grid showing you all the options. So there is a variety of different nerdy rodents. That one looks very nerdy, doesn't he, with his, his many different feet, yeah. Mm. Anyway, so yes, there's, there's lots of bias going on there. As you can see, nerds wear glasses a lot of the time or use technological gadgets. And uh, if you want all the individual ones, they are, of course, there in samples. So there you go. Very quick video just to get your stable diffusion up and running on your local machine so you can run any prompt you like. I will, of course, be doing more videos in the upcoming days with uh, various prompt suggestions and prompt engineering and all that sort of technical whiz. So don't forget to pop some comments down there and say, hey, I'd like to see this about Stable Diffusion, and I will try and make your comments come true. Anyway, that's it for now. Nerdy Rodent out. See you on the next one.